Scientists warn that one of the biggest glaciers in Antarctica could shatter like a windscreen in the next five to ten years due to climate change. Now, scientists are warning of dramatic changes at one of the biggest glaciers in Antarctica, potentially within the next five to ten years. They warn a floating section at the front of the Thwaites Glacier that until now has been relatively stable could soon shatter like a car windscreen, as they put it. Well, researchers in the UK and US are currently studying the rapid melting rate. It's already dumping 50 billion tonnes of ice into the ocean each year. Let's bring in the BBC science correspondent Jonathan Amos, who joins us now from New Orleans, where the dramatic, drastic assessment was made. Jonathan, thanks for joining us. Um, how did scientists come to this dramatic conclusion? Well, this is one of the glaciers that they are studying most closely in Antarctica. Thwaites is in the western uh, region of the Antarctic. Uh, it's in a, uh, an area called the Amundsen Sea embayment, and it is melting quickly. Uh, all the glaciers on that side of the Antarctic are melting rapidly, and this is a particularly big one. Thwaites is the size of, well, let's say Great Britain or Florida, if you can imagine a a glacier that big and it is speeding up it is dumping ever more ice into the ocean and so it is a keystone glacier it is a glacier that scientists are watching because they worry about the future if antarctica puts more and more ice into the ocean it will raise sea levels and so this is one of the glaciers that they are watching because it is so big because it is moving so fast and they have been throwing everything at it these last few years. They're in the middle of a, uh, a big research program, the United States and the United Kingdom. Uh, they are putting people on the ice. They are studying it every day with satellites. Uh, they even have uh, robots going under the glacier uh, to look at what's uh, happening at its floating front end. And their assessment is, is that they are about to see big changes there. In the next five or ten years, uh, they expect a, a, a thousand square kilometer section simply to shatter uh, because it has so many cracks in it. Um, and that'll make all the ice behind uh, then speed up. And, and so this is a story about now, but it is also a story about the future, about what is happening in this warming climate that we have on planet Earth. Well, wow, Jonathan, you say it's a keystone glacier and so much focus just on the impact that this one glacier as enormous as it is, could make on the height of the ocean if it did melt. Yeah, they, there is enough ice. I mean, if you think about an area that is the size of Florida or Great Britain, there is enough ice in this uh, one drainage basin uh, to raise global sea levels. From this one, from one glacier to raise global sea levels by 65 centimetres, um, which is a huge amount. And of course, if you know were that uh, glacier to uh, to crumble away, then you know it would probably bring the rest of uh, West Antarctica into play uh, as well. So there is there is much at stake uh, with this particular glacier, and because it is uh, that keystone, it is the one that could, as it were, unplug uh, that side of the Antarctic. It is the the glacier that is being most studied now by leading researchers in the U.S and the United Kingdom. Now, a lot of what I'm describing is, you know, centuries away. Um, you know, don't expect Thwaites to, uh, to crumble away, you know, next week or, or the month after. Um, but we are in the business now of looking long term, you know, because if, if you have to plan for city defenses in low-lying regions around the world, you plan on many decadal scales, on century scales. And that's why it's important.